Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is to show you all how to quickly and easily create your non-emergency medical transport pro forma financial projections. So that's a mouthful. But I'm going to show you how to go ahead and create your pro forma financial projections for your non-emergency medical transport business. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it quickly and easily. So the way the video is going to play out is first and foremost going to go ahead and give you all a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do, and why I do it. And then after that, we'll dive into the financial model that I use to create non-emergency medical transport pro forma financial statements. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Real quick, a little bit about me. Again, Paul Borowski, doctoral candidate, MBA. I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. So if you all want to avoid all the fun and excitement of writing your own business plan, feel free to pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I would be delighted to help you all with your business plan. I am also a business mentor as well as a business consultant. So my services range anywhere from helping y'all understand your financials to strategic planning, executing those strategic plans to optimizing your operations, all those wonderful things that a business consultant and a business mentor does, I do. And then finally, I am an adjunct professor and subject matter expert in both business and finance. So if you all have your business plan ready to go, but you need those pesky financial projections done, again, feel free to pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I'd be delighted to assist. And with that said, let's dive right back into it. And enough about me. Let's go ahead and talk about the non-emergency medical transport financial projections. So in order to get those financial projections quickly and easily, first thing you want to do is you want to start off with a template. And I do have a template available on my website for non-emergency medical transport. And it, um, I'll give you that link in just a little bit. But it, you know, when you do buy the template, what you'll do is you open up the Excel file, which is the financial model, and you'll be greeted with this page right here. On this page, you're going to have four tabs. You're going to have your information tab. On the information tab, anywhere in the darker colored cells right here is the information you can change. On the projections tab, this is just a summary tab of all. Every time you change a number in the darker colored cells on the information page, all of the summary tabs, all this information in the summary is going to update. And then your profit and loss for the next 12 months is going to update. And then your income statement for the next five years, all these numbers are going to update as well. So once you update your information page, your projection summary is going to update, your profit and loss for 12 months is going to update, and your income statement for the next five years is going to update. So like I said, and like I'm alluding to, here is the heart and soul of the financial model. And this is broken up into segments as well. This is broken up into your daily sales. This is broken up into your labor, your monthly, um, your startup cost right here, your monthly fixed cost, your miscellaneous information, growth rates, and then your loan information. So those are the different segments on your information page. The first section right here is for your daily sales. So I have it labeled as ride sharing customers and ride sharing customers, non, non emergency medical transport customers, whatever you want to label it, label it right here. And then the, the, um, the start right here is going to be the number. For the number, this is how many medical non-emergency medical transport patients are you going to transfer um, transport on a daily basis. So whatever that number is, you're going to put here. If it's 5, put 5. If it's 12, put 12. And then right here is going to be the price, how much you're going to charge per customer. And then your variable cost is going to be a percentage. And the variable cost is simply is going to be what is your, going to be your cost to transport your, um, your non-emergency medical patients to and from their homes or wherever you pick them up and drop them off. So that's going to be your um, variable cost. The next section right here, the next cell is going to be how many days are you going to be operating? Are you going to be working five days? Are you going to be working six days? Whatever the number of days, you're going, to, you're going to make the change right here. So if it's going to be six days, you're going to change it to six. And again, all your revenues and your net profits will update accordingly. The next section is going to be your labor. For the salary, this is how much you're going to pay your executive team on a monthly basis. And then employees, how many employees are you going to have? You're going to have one employee, three employees, five employees. If you're going to have one employee, make sure to put the rate, whatever the rate's going to be. And then that information will again update accordingly. And this is monthly. So you, however many hours the employees go work in a month, you're going to put that right here. Your job costs are pretty straightforward. Your first two lines is going to be how are you going to fund your organization? How much money are you going to come out of pocket with your equity investment? How much money are you going to borrow? If you are borrowing money, if you put a number right here for a loan, it will automatically populate down here. And then all you have to do is enter an interest rate, enter a term. 
um, whether it's going to be three years, five years, 10 years, 15 years, and then your payment will automatically update. And then again, your interest um, will automatically update in your pro forma financial statements as well. After you're done with the first two segments right here, this is where you're going to go ahead and divvy up your, your investment. So let's say you've got an equity investment of 5,000, taking a loan out of 60,000. Total, total startup costs or total funds invested are 65,000. You now need to take that 65,000 and you need to put it into these buckets right here of working capital, vehicle supplies, office equipment, licenses, miscellaneous. These, these right here, these titles can change. You can change those titles to wherever you want. Working capital, um, you can't change. You need money in the bank, and that's where it's going to go right here. Just make sure that your total at the end of the day, the 65000 aligns up with this total right here, the 60000 plus the 5000 The next segment is going to be your monthly fixed cost. How much are you going to pay for rent, utilities, office equipment, insurance, accounting, advertising and then the catch-all bucket is going to be your other so once you go ahead and put all that information right here it will go ahead and give you a monthly total next segment is your tax rate what do you think your taxes are going to be put it right here and then the next section right here is going to be your growth rates first um five lines is going to be your growth rates for each year for the next five years and then the following lines are going to be your growth rate for your expenses and then the final segment is going to be your loan information, which we've already covered. So once you update all this information, as you update this information, again, your profit and loss will be updated as well as your income statement. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. So let's go ahead and wrap it up and sum it up. In summary, if you are interested in purchasing my business plan template, it does come with a customizable Word document as well as a basic financial model that is customized for the industry. I also provide various tutorials. You can find my tutorials on this link right here. The tutorials just help you with the various aspects of the business plan template, completing them, and those tutorials can be accessed before or after you purchase the business plan template. Keep in mind, there are some limitations to all my business plan templates. You do need Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel in order to make edits. And also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns before you purchase a business plan template, be delighted to have a great conversation with you. My contact information is right here. Pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. We can have a great conversation. However, after you purchase my template, then I do not offer free phone support. If you want me to help you fill out that template, I do charge for the service. The service is there, it's mentoring, um, but I, like I said, I do charge for it. And then finally, if you do want to buy my business plan templates or check out the various templates that I have, the um, link is right here. And then finally, if you don't want to mess around business plan templates, you don't want to mess around with tutorials, you just want a professional to write your business plan for you, or you just want a, a professional to do your financial projections, I would be delighted to do so. Pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, or visit my prices page right here. And then finally, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, go out, make a little bit of money, and have a great day. Thank you.